Hello, my name is George Limer and I'm the CEO of Rally. Rally allows investors to purchase shares in collectible assets and subsequently trade those shares on the Rally platform. In essence, we've created the first new fully featured financial marketplace for collectibles and rare assets, ranging from classic automobiles to trading cards to NFTs to fine wine. I'll tell you about Rally a little bit later, but first I'd like to talk a bit about how we view the world. Retail investing and collectibles and investing in collectibles are having what we call a moment in popular culture. There's nothing especially new about investing after all, and we are all just the latest in a long line of human beings who consider themselves to be in one way or another investors. The assets and currency may change over time, but human nature does not. While today's current market structure dates back to 1602, when the Amsterdam Stock Exchange opens it, opened its doors, the Code of Hammurabi, which dates to 1700 BC, seems to have a section that describes rules for investors and investing as well. No matter where in history we look, the function is the same. Markets connect investors with investment opportunities and provide businesses with a mechanism for raising capital. Of course, this doesn't mean that investing in 1602 or 1700 BC looked anything like it does today. Investors today have an unprecedented level of access to stocks, trading opportunities, and most importantly, information available to them, regardless if they are investing $100,000 or $100,000. The internet and social networks have made information about stocks and assets readily available to anyone with the inclination and the time to do their investing homework. And with information comes access. Investing, at least the way we view it today, used to be off limits to most people. Stocks were only accessible via brokers who would only pick up your phone call if they saw a healthy commission check accompanying your trade. And if you couldn't afford a whole share of something that trades upwards of $1,000, like Amazon, forget it. You'd be forced to sit on the sidelines of participating in the upside of an innovative company just because they refused to do a stock split. But today, Trading apps such as Robinhood are adding millions of users every month, and fractional access to public company shares makes stock ownership accessible no matter your income or net worth. Your ability to trade and then decorate your social profile with your trading success is as close as your smartphone. And the stocks you own and trade say as much about you as the music you listen to, the car you drive, and the sports team you follow. The stock part portfolio is the modern day bedroom wall, but instead of plastered with physical representations of your favorite brands, collectibles, and celebrities, these now live in your portfolio. And of course, we all know investments aren't limited to public or private companies. Physical and intangible objects of value, like classic cars, fine art, or even baseball cards, are also high value investable assets. They're just a little harder to access for the regular person until recently. And that's where Rally comes in. Consider a Michael Jordan rookie card. A card graded eight on a 10 point scale by PSA, a leading card grading company, could be purchased for $3,000 two years ago. $3,000 is a lot of money for many people, but if you are a collector, it wouldn't be unreasonable to have a holy grail card in your collection that carries a $3,000 value. Today, that same card is a $20,000 purchase. $20,000 on a single card is simply beyond the reach of the vast majority of people, including the collectors who could have maybe participated at the $3,000 level. So now what? Are they effectively shut out forever from future appreciation just because they can't afford the, the buy-in price? Rally takes these items, securitizes them via a Reg A plus stock offering, and sells shares starting around $5. So now anyone, and I genuinely mean anyone, can buy a piece of something otherwise only accessible to the select few. And it's not simply price that makes collectibles inaccessible. In many cases, access is hampered by scarcity. The rarest books and historical documents, tech artifacts, luxury items, and fossils are often one of one or one of a very small number. In addition to price and scarcity, the hassles of ownership, 
storing, securing, insuring, and continuously valuing an item impose an additional cost. All of this adds up to an asset class that has traditionally been concentrated in the hands of the few among us lucky enough to have the resources required to participate. But even for those lucky few, there are drawbacks. The true value of these items are often discounted by their inherent illiquid nature. Want liquidity? Prepare to pay 20 cents on the dollar for the access to that liquidity. Prepare to wait for an auction house to have an auction suitable for that item, or prepare to find a buyer with the interest and resources to purchase the item via some other means, and hope that he or she is in the market for that item at the exact right time, and be prepared to give up the item in return for that liquidity, at which point the entire cycle begins anew for someone else. If we wanted to solve this problem, where would we start? What would a solution look like? Here's how we're approaching it at Rally. Safety and protection for the participants in the market must be the starting point. As I've pointed out, the information is more readily available than ever before. But making sure that information is correct and authenticated is key. Disclosing costs, risks, conflicts of interest and the like are of paramount importance. If that sounds like regulation, it's because that is exactly what is necessary to protect both market participants and allow them to participate with full confidence. Transparency and trust are the raw materials that create the bedrock for turning collectibles into a true asset class. At Rally, we start by making every asset a registered security under SEC Regulation A. This provides a number of benefits. Most obviously, it provides for the basic benefit of investor protection under the regulation. Material information about the item, its cost, provenance, ownership interest, and the like is included in the qualification of the item. Transparent full disclosure lets the investor properly evaluate the investment. Many of today's most popular alternative investments live in a gray area where the outcome of possible future regulation and its impact on the value of the investment is unknown. By registering all of our offerings from day one, we decided to build the company on the regulatory certainty we think is needed in the fintech space. Next, you need a method for identifying and valuing true one-of-one -one assets. You would need to do your homework on both individual items of interest and new categories of items that are emerging. Remember, these items are often one of a very small population. New categories of collectibles often look just like the thing that was in your attic right up until the point where they become the new hot item. A year ago, a sealed video game selling for $2 million would not have been fathomable. But a few months ago, a nearly pristine, unopened and graded Nintendo Entertainment System Mario Brothers sold for $2 million, setting the record for the most expensive video game of all time. Just a year earlier, it was bought for $150,000. You're probably thinking, Whoever bought that was a pretty smart investor and must have had a pretty strong belief that this was collectible, that, that this was a collectible sealed video game in a burgeoning but still undervalued market. And you'd sort of be right, except instead of one smart investor, it was over a thousand. The game was on rally, originally offered a year ago at $25 per share. The game was purchased off of the platform recently for over $500 per share, rewarding over a thousand investors for their foresight which without Rally, they'd not have been able to capitalize on. Stories like these span the world of collectibles. Four months ago, a pristine ticket stub to a famous sporting event would have been sitting in your grandfather's drawer. Now it's likely worth tens of thousands of dollars in the right condition. And six months ago, most of you probably hadn't heard of NFTs, and I don't even need to explain that market. All of these are now some of the hottest, most valuable collectibles. You would need to be on top of those before they are hot and tapped into a community of investors who think the same way that you do. Rally's asset acquisition team looks across the world to source the most unique museum quality examples of collectibles. We've built a network of experts across 16 different categories, everything from classic cars to fine wines to vintage technology. Our network gets us a first and usually exclusive look at these assets. We solve the one of one problem by knowing about the asset before it hits the market. We're also active with partners from major auction houses and sources of supply across the world. Our access creates access 
for the investor. After sourcing items, you then get to work on shortening the time to liquidity for an asset holder. There's no reason it should take months to get liquidity for a rare asset. While you're at it, you do what my old boss and friend Josh Koppelman calls shrinking a market, providing a more cost-effective way for an asset holder to get liquidity for the same item and pulling four or five dollars away from existing market incumbents for every one dollar you earn. For the asset holder, we provide fast and efficient liquidity. We can bring an asset to market from identification to quality to offering in as little as 20 days on average. We've done it in as little as five days. And we charge an average sourcing fee of around 10%, much less than the other sources of liquidity and much more efficient for the retail investor who pays nothing as compared to a buyer's premium of approximately 20% in other markets. Last, if the holder of the asset wants to do so, they can hold on to the item and only fractionalize a smaller portion of the asset's value. The choice of liquidity or asset doesn't need to be made. You'd create an offering that fractionalizes the value of the item and allows retail investors to purchase interest in the item for no cost. Asset holders, if they so choose, could fractionalize a portion of the total value of the item and perhaps retain physical control of that item. For those asset holders that need it, you'd store, secure, and insure the items. For asset holders that happen to be institutions or brands, you'd provide an opportunity to use the fractionalization of the item as a way to connect directly with audiences that express affinity for that brand or institution, similar to the way that people who love Apple or Tesla want to invest in what they love. Next, a full featured market that provides for continuous liquidity in each item and that provides for the full scope of market functionality, share issuance, know your customer, wallets and funding, custody, live secondary trading and record keeping would allow holders of interests to participate in the buying and selling of shares and for new liquidity to enter the market at will. Rally is a full stock, stack end-to-end -end platform. Rally has created one of the largest multi-category solutions for storing, insuring, and securing assets on behalf of asset and shareholders. Our facilities hold everything from cars to dinosaurs, and for many of these asset types, we are one of the first platforms to provide for insurance at scale. What you see here is a section, last floor that Kobe Bryant ever played on, secured in our facility. The platform and rally of broker-dealer partners provide for the issuance of regulated securities, full know your customer processes, securities and funds custody, trading and asset takeover. Lastly, you would provide information. The rich stories of these items are a reason for participating in the market all by themselves. They evoke an emotional response. They are endlessly fascinating and their journeys through time and the roles they played in cultural events and moments of the past are a mirror that reflects our own interests and values, both as individuals and as a society. At the same time, you'd allow your investors to add to the story of the asset as they share their participation, personal connections, and reasons for owning the share of the asset. Beyond a simple investment, Rally allows for the most fundamental driver for collecting the self-identification and expression of self that the collection provides. Rally tells the story of each item through rich written audio and video content, through companion items like limited edition commemoratives or exclusive NFTs, the Rally investor acquires and displays tokens in the physical, not digital sense, that allow for the sharing of their investment and their passion. These items often become collectibles in their own right listing and reselling on platforms like eBay for many multiples of their original purchase price. All told, Rally strips away and hides the complexity of finding, acquiring, and investing in a rare collectible. In making it simple to participate, it allows the collector and the investor to return to the root purpose for engaging in collectibles in the first place the opportunity for a favorable financial return, and the opportunity for the emotional return of expressing yourself through your portfolio. Thank you for your time.